All right, welcome back to the Jump Off here at Day 2, even 2019. We're jumping through the three remaining games here. Yes. Right? Street Fighter V, Tekken, and Smash. And Smash. No, Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Mortal Kombat. And Smash. Sorry, Tekken Tekken's done. Tekken's done, up, man. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah, come on, Guy's man. Guy's messing all of us Gotta up. change his damn name. Yeah. Ooh, got the buzz. Ooh, yeah, no, so the buzz is still super duper duper good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah, Raito, so right, uh, uh, like, I, I don't know. For my money, Raito is the only Relevant Duck Hunt player, Duck Hunt dog. I oh, love there's it. a Duck Hunt player. Yeah, yeah. there, there oh, is a Duck Hunt player. It, wow. I, I don't know. I don't really like. Raito makes no sense to me. This character, I feel like, should not be good, but every time I watch it, he's just doing sick stuff nonstop. That can. So, Duck Hunt has three projectiles. The thing about, I feel like this could actually be, yes, yeah, so it's 1 1. Uh, Duck Hunt, I think, does pretty well against other zoners because Duck Hunt can just kind of out zone them. Like, so you got the, the, you know, the, I don't know what you call him, the, the quick draw guy. The quick draw guy. Yeah. So he's going to sit there for a second and then shoot him. Uh, you got the can, and you can basically, like, while it's out, you can push a button. It's almost like, kind of like, uh, a little bit like Bridget's yo yo, kind of. You can basically push buttons and, and have it do stuff. Um, and, and, and the cool thing is you can put it in places and they get like like situational combos off of it. Yeah. Where it explodes, sends it back into you, you get a follow-up. It's pretty dope. Yeah. I mean, so, you know, what's uh, what's pretty cool is that you can press the, you can press the can, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. you can press the can with, in any situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it's kind of... So it's like you can press the can and like have it flip while you're recovering right. so that you're like trying to grab the ledge and cover yourself as you're going. Right, because I think lore-wise, right, it's like the play, it's like you as the player shoot, right, it's right, duck right, yeah, you're yeah, shooting yeah, the yeah, can, yeah, it's yeah. not the dog, the dog's just kind of, you know, doing his thing with the little burn on his back or whatever. So, oh, uh, oh, with the can! Oh. Yo, no, Rhino's right, right nasty, man. I, I, I don't know how, I literally don't know how he does it. This character should, I feel like... Well, like, there was one of those situational combos you were talking about. Exactly. Hit him yeah. right into and the can and then followed up. That I, I mean, the buzz was winning up until like one moment ago, and I, I feel like that, that that one opened up. And the thing too is, this is the kind of matchup where being being in the lead helps a lot. I mean, smash right, rounds yeah. do go long, right? It's like an eight-minute timer or seven-minute seven timer, whatever it is. But like, there's still that pressure of if you're in the lead, uh, they got to come to you at the end of the day. So yeah, especially in like a, a zoner thing. Oh, right. Right. kind of a zoner because he throws out Pikmin's and stuff. Right? He is. Like, Zone of zoner style, right? Like that life lead makes it so that the opponent has to take more risks. Extra, yeah, yeah. I, I completely agree. And oh, there no. I think is exactly what you were talking about. He's like in his shield, <laughs> but he's hitting B to yeah. move the can over while he's blocking. That's cheap. That's cheap. I man. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what the cats there's an That's anime so cool. character that does that, right? <laughs> Block and attack at the same time. Who am I thinking of? Yeah, it does. It does sound yeah. like an anime character. Yeah, yeah. Like you could like negative edge. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like, like Faust. Yeah. Yeah. Throws out a little man's and uh, you're just I mean, in block waiting for it to come down and help you out. Yeah, yeah. yeah and right was up now. This, I mean, I, this would be a, a sick win for him. I mean, the buzz like is super duper consistent. Always expect to see him in top eight. Yeah, and Man, I mean, all the Japanese players we've seen so far have been losing, oh, so yeah. they're the starting to uh, fall off here. If I'm see, if I'm reading this right, it says winners. Yeah, winners quarters. So this is yeah. winners top eight. Yeah, right to and winners side of top eight would be like. That would be crazy. People would go nuts for that. You know what's crazy cool about how he's playing this is that he's constantly sandwiching the bugs. Like yeah. he's, he's like putting him between a oh, rock and a hard. That's place. a guaranteed throw. You put him in blocks them with the can. Yeah, that was that. <laughs> that was that was that's so sick. That was sick. That was sick. Oh, sitting with that a couple times as he's recovering, doing an up air from underneath the stage with the Pikmin. Yeah, Lilat is definitely the kind of. You see how thin that floor is. You yeah. gotta watch out for that Lilat. Like a lot of a lot of characters uh, can, can do it on the stage. Yeah, Omar's got good recovery, right? So he has the ability to sort of do that without too much worry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, on his last stop, he's got a huge lead. Yeah, this is oh, oh, man. The quick this draw. is rough, dude. This much of a life lead on a zoner. Oh. And the thing, too, about, like, so, you know, Olimar is definitely a resource character, right? Like, you got those three Pikmin, and right. based on what you get, you play a little bit differently. Okay, that's damage, but see, he gets the can explosion to come out and kind of break the combo early. Right. The bus still getting 47 off that. Yeah, yeah that's like, a good oh, shot. Go in. Wow, Raito in winner's top eight. He's such a sweet guy. Like, Raito is, like, maybe one of the, like, top three nicest people I've ever met. Uh, that's good for him, man. That's, that's, that's dope. Yo, I oh, got I know. Oh, Another wow. big bird match. Yeah, Ida did well. Ida, actually, both in New York. I forget who, not Nemo, but they've been taking out Japanese players. Ida yeah. and uh, okay. Smug as well. New York boys. There we go. Yeah, this yeah. is still in winter, so Ida'm definitely still terrorizing yeah, it's back the bread right now, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like super curious to know who he'd be. Dude. Yeah, Big Bird actually went to his you know, item as an NLBC or mainstay, but Big Bird went a couple months back to NLBC, right? So he does have experience fighting these guys in the mm, casual right. setting. 
Should they have some of their tendencies now? Rashid's everywhere on the Capcom Pro Tour. Lara's yeah. falling off a great deal. Yeah, quite that, a bit. Lara, yeah. Lara fell off a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that season two to three change was a huge deal for Laura. But I mean, you know, as a guy who, who played Laura, Idom was one of the guys I always looked forward to watching because he, he made this character look so dirty. Nerfs are no There nerves. we go. It's like that, oh. right? So in that situation, went from, you know, zero to stun in like, you know, oh four God. seconds. Oh. But in that little situation, he mixed them up like three times. Yeah. That's very, like, very fast player. Oh, man, he's wow. so. Idom is amazing. Yeah. What did they do to her, to, to Laura, season three? Uh, so a, a lot of the things that they did to her was sort of system oriented. They made they nerfed the V trigger. Uh, they made it three bars instead of two bars. They nerfed the confirms into V trigger. They nerfed a lot of her damage situations too. Uh, medium kick was a huge nerf. Sandy medium kick went from five uh, yeah. frames to seven frames. Uh, yeah, yeah you used to see like medium kick, medium yeah, kick, yeah, medium yeah, kick. Yeah. Using that to move across yeah, the screen. Yeah. Wow. So they basically pushed her towards being a more V trigger oriented character. Character instead of being sort of like, if there's a spectrum or a slider, they push the slider more in that direction than it was before. Yeah, back to Mortal Kombat now. So we got Jackie versus Jackie. I heard a lot about how strong this character was, but I hadn't seen her here at EVO. I've seen her dominating in other tournaments right now. She's one of the new characters, like very, very aggressive. Yeah, I, I really like watching Jackie. Yeah. She's, I love like kickboxer, like MMA style characters. Yeah, she's very, I mean, it's almost like Tekken, right? She's just yeah. a step kick to get in, and then she's got mix-ups. She got confirms off that. Another one. Oof, oof. Mm. <laughs> it, it just seems, gr like, gratuitous. I know that's the point. Yeah. But, like, yeah. does she have to, does, is the fourth knee to the stomach necessary? <laughs> uh, you know, the, the, the first three weren't enough? Boom, boom, boom. But that was actually uh, some robbery right there by Sabiti. I know player one this guy Tweety, if you're not familiar with the Mortal Kombat scene, I don't know. I guess he's like the Leffen, I don't know. He's, the the oh, he's yeah. the guy who always is on Twitter, calls in fires and stuff. That's yeah. what's up. So I'm going to guess the crowd might not be on his side. We heard them <laughs> cheering a lot earlier. Yeah. Well, you never know, because the crowds love Leffen. <laughs> they might, yeah. <sighs> but here we go, going to again, corner Tweety, the one. Wow, wow. again, looks like attacking right there, a little whiff punish. Yeah. Yep. Waited right out of the way, uh, the way, punish with the step kick. I mean, this is a, a weird mirror match. Like some some mirror matches don't look like this. They're both doing like the exact same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the step kick. That's the start to like her pressure, right? Yeah. Her strings yeah. and everything. Yeah, it's different too. I feel like every match we've seen so far of Mortal Kombat, right? Zoner, zoner, yeah. zoner, zoner. This zoner. Is, These two this rush is totally down city. Different. Yeah. yeah. Totally different place. Ooh, one Superman punch, perfectly spaced, goes in the fatal blow. Is it enough? The crowd is already clapping. Let's see. Oh. It's violent enough, definitely. Oh. Go one one and yeah, I heard I heard the crowd cheered a bit different. I think they might be on Sabita's side. Look, yo, Tweety saying that was just a little bit. You barely got me. You barely got me. That's a sign, though. To me, that's a sign. If yeah. my opponent is like, oh, I should have won that, yeah. like you know, it's like you tilt it. That's why yeah. no matter what, I never, never. Stone win. face. Yeah. Stone face when you pop off when you win. Never when you lose, never do anything. Yeah. Split. Yeah, Tweety's one of those guys. He, he's shown a, a lot of emotion on stage before. So. Yeah, you see him without his headset on, too. So he's one of those players like, trying to feed off the energy here. More important than the game sound. Hyping himself up. Mm -hmm. All right, Cactus with Sabaraka. Another character I heard very, very top tier right now. The highest damaging character in the game. Oh, is he? Yeah. Okay. The thing is, what I heard uh, yesterday, right, he's got, you know, some really powerful tools, some really strong uh, strings. But the pros know how to function, know how to get away with it. Okay. So we'll see. Like at the mid level, he's an absolute havoc. There's also the, the possibility that he just wanted to get away from the mirror. I mean, you know, a lot of the top tiers are real characters we see often, but sometimes just playing the mirror is annoying. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the switch is definitely working for him. Look at the life that he's got right now. I think it's very rare to hear a fighting game player that I like the mirror. I only, right? yeah. I only like yeah. it in, when I have Shota mirrors. That's what I said. I yeah. love playing. I was about to say I love playing Ragnar mirrors. Man, yeah. it's my favorite. Shota mirrors, mirrors are fun. But other than that, I kind of dislike them quite a bit. Going to the grinder after all the air there. He confirmed. And then Sand Jab. All right, Street Fighter Five is back. I guess <laughs> we got it. Yeah, yeah, this is where Jackie just does her best. Of course, there's block damage on like everything in this game. <laughs> Brock is swinging his way out. Yeah, Tweety's getting real aggressive now. Maybe he's smelling some blood. So he puts him in, uh, you know, the little hustle. He's got the pay to blow now. That was that, that you know, interact with that animated super you saw a bit earlier. So he can do a ton of damage. Not going to spend too early, I would guess, right? Wait for a better starter, maybe. God, 
every knee is so slow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> you think about every single one. Oh. oh. Yep. So you wake up, rolled out of there, and now it's two to one Tweety. I'm sure he's popping off right now in the crowd or something. Oh. Once again, I repeat myself, every time this game comes on, guys, if you randomly in here, you want to watch Mortal Kombat, twitch.tv slash Evo. That's the main Evo stream right now. I didn't get a Sunday spot, but there's a huge crowd out there. Oh, yeah. I think we've gotten to the point at Evo where it's like Sunday spots are nice, yeah, yeah. but like dude, people just want to show up for their games. Agreed. Right? Like, look at look at Eunice. Look at the crowd that showed yeah. up. That was 10 a.m. That, that was about to say, that was 10 a.m. 10 a.m. I was still waking Saturday. up and they were yeah. screaming like crazy out there. Yeah, look at Dragon Ball, man. Yeah. Oh, that that might have been. I mean, that might be the finals that people remember this weekend. Yeah. That might be like. It's always a game you least expect, right? right. It's always that game that just comes out of nowhere. Yeah, it looks like now Samit's going to uh, Cassie Cage. So I guess that, this game is counter pick heavy. It, it seems like a lot huh. of players do have multiple characters, yeah. Okay. But whenever, you know, who works with like stage bands and character picks, you're at an advantage when you're up in the game count, right? Exactly. So now Tweety, even if he loses, he gets the final pick. He gets the final choice of who he wants to go into. I've seen a lot of Cassie Cage in the pro scene, though, so. Huh. I think this guy, I think a lot of people think this character's good. It's looking yes, pretty yes. good so far. I can do that combo with a jab, 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 jab. jab. I that looked like a hope total game yeah. combo for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> that wall bounce here. And so far, actually, the counter picking has worked, right? Tweety Switch yeah. won the game. Samit Switch, you know, it looks like he's about to win the game. Yeah, you have to wonder if these are just that bad of matchups, or is it just something about the Switch that the other player's not adapting yeah. fast enough? I'm sure Ultra David knows, so if you want to figure it out, Check you should go to the I game was mode just main thinking screen. that. I'd love to hear him explain. Oh, look at that step kick. God, ooh. I don't know what it is with the cages, man. Is it, like, I know it's NRS lore, but what's up with his family? He's shooting people in the ball. Oh, interesting. Punching them in the ball. Yeah. Right? That, that is uh, it all Johnny started Cage's with Johnny. son. It's in, the yeah, Johnny, it's in yeah. genetics. I thought it was a father. It'd be the last thing I would teach, right? <laughs> Definitely do not. <laughs> Who did you no, practice I think, with? No, I think that would be the first thing you would teach, actually. <laughs> to your daughter? Kick him in the nuts. Yeah, if you're fighting dudes like this, yeah, like you know, <laughs> literally, uh, less all bets are off at that point. You're playing a guy that's, that's got a mouth and oh. teeth like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm punching him straight in the nuts. Such and then getting out of there. Right. They even just teleport behind you. <laughs> yeah, everyone yeah. Know what yeah. Yeah. Can't escape. Anyway, yeah, this is a uh, match point right now for Tweety. He's in the loser side right now. This means you're pretty good. If you repeat what he had in round one, we kind of locked him down in the corner. Good interrupt on the fireball right there, and is that crushing blow? Uh -huh. Man, it's nice. There's no uh, bullet gauge or anything in this game, so she can fire off as much as she wants. No need to worry about the reload. Mm -hmm. And like blitz. Whoa. Looks like he beat through the armor. Yeah, it looks like it was a punish. Big likely right now. Fatal Blow is available for Tweety, but gonna need probably, what, like three clean hits? Yeah, three or four yeah. at least. And there is Chip slowly but surely sniped out of the skies. We got a game fiver. Yeah, so what's Tweety gonna do? Yeah, I'm super curious actually. Start, I, go, I back go back to Jackie. Jack. Maybe yeah. or does he have another? You think he's got a third character ready to go? I don't know. It definitely looked like counter picks with both because both the last two games have looked dominant in either favor. Wait to find out. So Beach knows. Oh, oh, he's smiling, I guess. Oh. He's like, come on, man. Don't pick that character. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do this. And there's a fist okay. bump. Uh, I hate it. Yeah. The, 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 the mid-match. Mid <laughs> yeah, in the middle of the match, I, I'm not even looking in your direction. I hate you. Yep. You're I, my I, enemy. It could be, yeah, it could be somebody that I flew here with and I'm going to fly back with. I don't. You're my my mortal enemy in the middle of the match. Can I actually tell you something? I don't know if this is just a Smash thing, but when someone tries to do that to me, in Smash, like, especially at Locals, I just assume they're a bad player. Yeah. Oh, when, right. when they do it, I'm like, man, you must not like... You don't know the rules, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, like, You must be new here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I swear I start playing a little more disrespectful yeah, when they do yeah, that. Yeah. Get him. Yes, as predicted, Tweety did go back to Jackie. That enclosed fighter we saw earlier on, the one he must be most oh, comfortable with. Damn. I assume so. There we go again. He's slowly pushing Smee to the corner. That's not where you want to be if you're a zoner. But damn, what was that? Neutral jump, and fortunately, Tweety himself put himself in the corner. Yeah. yeah. Very common tactic versus forward moving moves like that, right? Neutral jump. jump. Neutral jump. Come in and again, you close in the stance. You expect the string to keep going? No, except for the jab. And then yeah, okay. chip them out. You just chip them out. 
Yeah, this makes sense, right? Like, I mean, it looks like it looks like Cassie Cage is kind of his order, so like, I mean, I just rush him down. Yeah, with with my limited and by limited, I'm being very generous knowledge of this game. It seemed like the the Cassie pick was to counter zone Brock. Yeah. because you could see she was like crouching under a lot of the projectiles, right. counter zoning, and now it seems like Jackie is just not trying to zone at all. So that counter zoning strategy does nothing, and she's just able to get in and, and just run her game, kind of mess her up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they, they, again, just showing up how important it is to win that first game yep. in these kind of games. Or, in some cases, the RPS situation, right? You gotta get every advantage you can, because you never know what's going to come back and help you later in the set. Mm-hmm. little meter on the green. But Tweety, yeah, got her in the block string. And again, I like how Kaiser's been going to that block string. Probably not even trying to mix up, just trying to get out of that damn corner. Regular grab again, about dead even on life, but Tweety, of course, does have that one round. Okay. Big hit. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough, right? Oh, 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 oh the jump. Didn't oh, kill the drop. Drop. Blinds, man. Oh. He's got that, he's got that fatal yeah. blow that he can and use. And watch out for chip, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh! Wow, oh. It's popping off yeah. yelling at the crowd. Yeah. Sanijo eliminated there, looks like at seventh, right? Wow. Oh, oh, no. Whoa. Oh. Okay. And Ken? The, the patented green Ken. The, the green the Ken. Ken. Yeah. The this one that... Everybody's playing this game now, by yeah. the way. He just won a tournament, but... No. I mean, Deshi Ken. Deshi Ken? Yeah, Deshi Ken. He picked it up after Co-op Cup. And, uh, you know, legendary. You guys don't know he's legendary third strike Ken player. Street Fighter Five. Plays Karen. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, you know why? Because Karen's got the best low forward. Yeah, she's better Karen. Yeah, that makes third strike, yeah, everything. That makes she has sense. the low forward. Uh -huh. Yeah. God. How long have you been playing third strike? You're not going to use that skill to your advantage. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Crumple here, and yeah, Bonchan. You know, everyone loves him for Sagat, but he still runs Karen alongside. Huge life there, Bonchan with the Yolo, just raw dog Tatsu in your face. Mm. Well, okay. yeah. yeah. I think one of the coolest things about Karen in this game is that she has a fantastic walk speed. So really, like, it feels like in a game where, where a lot of characters don't have that, like, that's such a huge tool. Nah. She just plants herself on the ground. Yeah, Bo Bolchon beat Punk recently, right? Yeah, yeah, he just won what tournament was it? Thai the one in Thailand, uh, I forget, but yeah, that, he won. Was that uh, Karen Mears? He did Karen Mears, but he started with Sagat, I think. Oh, wow, okay. Well, I've always liked watching Bonchan now. <laughs> yeah, I think and he's Bonchan, you know, Street Fighter 4 played a ton of Sagat, known mm -hmm. for that character, but the character's yeah. not in Street Fighter 5. So he had a bit of a character crisis. Now he's finally doing some work. There we go, dash encounter, confirm. It's almost like once he got Sagat, he was like released. Mm -hmm. He was like, all right, I can uh, finally I can finally rest. This character is not everything that I wanted it, and you know, sort of now switches between the two quite often. Uh-huh. But Mochi the ra very, very rarely plays Ken. So I wonder what happened if he started with a different character earlier in the set and made the switch. Ken considered very, very weak in this game, but Momochi, nickname they call him Yolochi Rare, something just goes crazy <laughs> like that. Run in, no! Uh, he was yeah. so ready for that. Yeah. That is not real at all. That's what they say yeah. about Ken, is like his pressure and stuff is just not real. That's a lot of it relies on your opponent being asleep. That's just hijinks. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, he Dang. plays a few other characters. He also plays Colleen. Colleen yeah. is like his main, right? That is one I, he usually picks her, I would say. Yeah. Right? And he, Colleen's great for a guy like him, right? He is fantastic with Punisher, so using that stand fierce mm -hmm. really well. Oh, yeah, it looks like, hold on, little mistake there. So they're going to go back to character select. Was the mistake picking Ken? Might have been a character. <laughs> it might have been maybe a, they did random stage. I don't know. He's like, oh, I meant to go back to character. like, didn't work. But icing down Bonchan a little bit. Scores 1-1 one, one now, I think, with these two. I thought Momochi had one there. Yeah, Momochi was already up a game, mm -hmm. so. Well, let us see. Bonchan repping Red Bull. Daigo as well, but Daigo dropped down and loses. I don't know if he's still in anymore. We saw Big Bird as well, another Red Bull athlete. He dropped down. So Bonchan, I guess, the, the senpai of the group right now. There's a lot of button pressing. Maybe I yeah. think he rebind his buttons. Wow. It, people, it sounded people do that? like it. Uh, in, in Tekken, at least, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure in Street Fighter, but in Tekken, a lot of the times what they'll do if they pick different characters, they'll have different mm -hmm. uh, two-button buttons. Ah, oh, wow. Because uh, and a lot of the times, it's like a, a big problem a lot of pros know about it, is that sometimes pressing two buttons at the same time is, is not very consistent. Yeah. So what they'll do is that they'll map other buttons just in case it makes their life a little bit easier. Huh. Oh, and speaking of Colin, he did uh, Colin. switch yep. to her. So yeah, maybe you know he maps a certain button, one or two, that helps him in the matchup mm -hmm. somehow. Interesting.
Yeah, they. Uh, I know Fudo swaps when he plays Birdie and Mika. I know Tokido swaps when he plays other characters aside from Tokido. So Akuma. this game. All right, sorry, yeah, uh, Akuma, yeah. So uh, this game, a lot of times they'll. If you have a charge character, you just do any two button move, like uh, your throw or anything. You don't use it for throw, though. You use it just to hold down the charge. So that's what Birdie huh. does. And then Tokido, he's got an option select with B skill that he oh. uses, right? I think Bonchan is the one who exposed it, but. <laughs> wow. That's kind of dope. I like stuff like that. Uh, me too. Street Fighter 4, they used to bind the pause button. Like, that was so yeah. cheap. Yeah. <laughs> so no, the 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 select button. Yeah, select yeah. button. Yeah. Sako, yeah. right? Sako was the first one. They all did it. Yeah, then they made custom sticks, right? Yeah. yeah. They cheaters. And then uh, we on a lot of sticks, uh -huh. it was super easy to do. Uh, it's literally yeah. like just moving connects around. Huh. But yeah, so Momochi running with Tom. Her mix ups are real, right? So Ken relies on you to, like, Hope the uh, opponent's sleeping. Her mix-ups are real with those ice skates, man. Yeah, and in V-Trigger 2, mm -hmm. she gets better buttons on top of it. So she gets to really try to zone out Karen. But we're in there. Yeah, Bonchan did a good job of, you know, just staying airborne and really, you know, avoiding the pressure from Mochi. Didn't get anything happening with that V-Trigger. And now Karen's got her win condition down there to three bars. If Momochi can get a V-Skill off somehow and build some more bar, mm -hmm. he might be able to get a second one. I think at this point, yeah, I mean, that's a good thing to aim for, but at this point, maybe just Vivers, not like it that's Karen true. started. Yeah. Especially with that CA. Yeah. Oh. And you now that that's the most dangerous thing is when you get out of that range, a lot of times, you know, the meme is take the throw. But once you're down here where you can't afford to take a throw anymore, <laughs> like it's like, oh god. <laughs> wow. Well, you really do? just time to guess, yeah. So Bonchan going with the overhead and now moving on to match point. So this is top eight qualifier. Bonchan won. This would be top two. sixteen winners, so I Either this is uh -huh. to the, the match before qualifying or actually qualifying. So Bonchan has been on a tier. I think he yeah. won two back to back premieres, right? I believe so, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And like those are like the last two premieres, and then I think the last one he didn't win, but he was up there. So he is really on point now. I think Oof. it'd be pretty fitting, yeah, if he did make top eight right now. Especially because I'm sure Punk is there waiting on the other side. Oh, oh yeah. That's kind of like the big rivalry right now. But Mochi not trying to let him get there. Pretty good round right now, Colleen. Oh, the stand roundhouse. Yeah, the classic stand roundhouse V trigger. Back throw here again. Yeah. Well, won't you willing to just Ooh, take it? What a confirm. And he was yeah. so close. He had one more bar. He would have been able to kill, but chase down the back dash. Momochi knows he got <laughs> robbed right there. <laughs> Look at him. Boncha knew he did the robbery. <laughs> Momochi yeah. was looking up in the yeah. sky. So he was uh, like, oh, God. That looked like a celebration for a top eight qualifier. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Relieved right there. So I guess, yeah, Boncha qualifying. So I guess, you know, sometimes the players peak a bit too early. He peaked right at the right time it's of the right, season, right, like right, right before Evo, and it's carrying over. Uh, but yeah, guys, once again, we're going to, I think this is our, our last break of the day. Uh, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more jump off after this.
All right, and welcome back to the final block of the jump off here. Day two at EWO 2019. We've seen mm. a lot of action. What, what were some of the highlights? What did you guys enjoy today on Unis day two? Unis top eight. Unis, Unis top, top eight. eight. Oh. Top Unis top eight. Yeah. So we sick. do commentary. Are you in the, the crowds watching? No, I was watching. Yeah, I was just watching. It was amazing. How about you? Yeah, it was super yeah. hard. Some of the Tekken has, has been amazing. Watching Arslan mm -hmm. Ash, you know, get all the way to top eight. That's been amazing. And he's got to fight uh, E tomorrow, he's like gotta you fight say. E because mm -hmm. the, let's, let's really, like, we didn't know that this was happening because Pakistan came out mm -hmm. of nowhere. And six months later, we have a whole new scene mm -hmm. to worry about. But on top of which, also, Japan has looked much better than they did last year, mm -hmm. right? And so it really feels like it's more of an international tournament now. I think we're going to have at least three Japanese in top eight this year. Have an American, uh, someone from Pakistan, mm -hmm. and Korea. Korea, I think of course, Korea. has got to be That's there. That's crazy. Yeah. And it's, it's just getting more and more diverse as we're going along and, uh, every year through Tekken. It's, it's so cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, you talk, you like Smash? I mean, is that, that, that Smash your favorite boards, today? I feel like it's like, you know, we haven't gotten down the top eight. I mean, if, if I'm being completely honest, mm -hmm. my highlight from today has to be Goichi versus Sonic. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's mine. That's mine, too. Amazing. Man. Yeah. Although, uh, I do agree with you, dude, because, like, I'm a big Oshihito fan. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, that's my boy. That, I, I watch every single video of his on YouTube. So, yeah, like, yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, this guy that clear lamp, mm -hmm. obviously destroyed behind him, is super sick. Yeah. That was, like, one of those matches where I was so conflicted. I was like, I really don't know who to cheer for. I mean, that was the main storyline mm -hmm. going in was, like, is Clear Lamp really is that really good, or is he just coming or? over here with like the lower competition and beating everybody? And Ohito is coming off some big wins, yeah. so you know what is he going to so do? Yeah, I'll give you a little insider story. I'm not sure if I should say this, but we were sure. looking for a Japanese commentator for Unist, and we were going to go to Clear Lamp because we only need him for top eight. Uh -huh. So originally, it was like, is he going to make top eight or not? So right. we sent we sent an offer, and then they were like, hold on, we'll think about it. Like, we'll get back to you, and then it's like, no. He wants to focus on being a player this year. So it's like, oh, I guess he believes in himself. And yeah, yeah. He was right. Go. Wow. Did Amazing. He, uh, did, he do, did he want the option? Because like, you could do the option. Like, yeah, if I get knocked out. Nah, he just wanted to focus, he man. Just yeah, focus, right? yeah, yeah, he just wanted to focus, He just wanted to be like, let me perfect. focus. Yeah. 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 yeah, you don't want that option. Yep. Yeah, because if, right. if you got options, you know, mm -hmm. like people, like, that's human nature. Let me that's human nature. Kamehameha versus Gluttony. So we saw Gluttony. I mean, that was Gluttony versus... Uh, uh, da, 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 the other jab. Oh, uh, Shogun. Yes. Yeah, he clutched it. So this is this is funny because this is actually kind of a similar matchup where, you know, Kamehameha also, like, well, unlike Shogun where there's other snakes in the world, I feel like Kamehameha, no one's on his level. He famously got, his breakout term was actually Evo a couple years ago. I think it was 2015 okay. where he got third as Mega Man. I mean, people didn't know Mega Man could do anything back then. So, like, uh, yeah, that was crazy. And Kamehameha, just like Raito, who we just saw made top eight in winners, I feel like Kamehameha and Raito are very similar players in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. They, um... They're both like kind of the sole rep. Oh, that was a kind of that a, was really cool. Yeah, that was a dirty way to come back. Um, but yeah, they're both the kind of the sole representatives of their of their characters at a really high level. Definitely zoner kind of play styles. Mm -hmm. Like you, when you're playing against Right or Kamemi, you're definitely playing their game. And also, they just kind of go to a lot of the same terms. I think they're from the same region. I think they're both. God's I want to say. Mm. I mean, that's the beauty of living in Japan. Doesn't matter where you live, you're only about yeah, like an hour away yeah, on the yeah, Shikatsen. Yeah. 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 Oh, Ooh. I, I didn't know that was a confirmed. So he, normally with the Metal Blade, you're going to either shoot or you're going to uh, throw mm -hmm. it. He just dropped it. He said, yoink, you know, and then, uh, yeah, and then combo that into the Uptilt KO, which is the, sh the, the Mega Man Shore you can. So I love that he has that, like, the, uh, the homage to, like, the Mega Man X games, mm -hmm. you know, where you can, like, yes. get, the, get the secret, uh, what was it? It was, it was the Hadouken and the Shoryu. The Shoryu's X2. Yeah. Yeah. And then X2 was the Shoryu. Sure, sure, and, yeah. and it did, it just, yeah, just one, one shot. Yeah, boxes. you can one shot Sigma, yeah. I almost see it as an homage to, like, Mega Man in, you know, like, the early Marvel's Capcom games. Oh, yeah, where, true, Right, because he has the, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, well, maybe that, I mean, it's like an homage on an homage. Right, 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 yeah. yeah. They got to give him the infinite then. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the DP Infinite here. Oh, man. Yeah, what game was that? One of the early Marvels, One man. of the early ones, right? Yeah. Those games are all busted. Yeah. <laughs> When's Marvel 4, Evo? When's, When's Marvel, Marvel 4? Marvel 4. Man. Yeah, this is, dude. Yeah, because Glenny, Glenny he, you, you always see him coming with that uh, that neutral where he does like, the kind of the yeah, spinning move in the air. The two hit. That move is, yeah, so you you, you were talking about, who, what character was that in uh, in Sam's show we that has like a, that one move where it's just active the whole way there's Oh, uh, Halmaru, yeah, Halmaru, yeah, just yeah. jump with the heavy, just leave right. it out there. It's kind of the same thing. That Nair is a hitbox when it comes out, and another hitbox, like a landing hitbox. It's very, it's, so you just kind of uh, jump in, you just kind of unga with it. Ooh. That was the confirming with the waft. Uh, and that, I mean, that's the great equalizer right there. The cool thing is that, like, okay, it's still a pretty even game, mm -hmm. and he's probably not going to get another one before the game ends, at least not the full one. Uh, there is, like, the half waft, which is, a, like, a lot weaker, but it's still, you know, sort of threatening. Uh, but yeah, if you're Kamehameha now, I mean, yeah, this is, it's, I would say, you know, yeah, he, he does kind of have to go in, and you do want to close that out because it's mm -hmm. going to be on the back of your mind. 
One thing they gave to Mega Man that made him, that kind of set him apart from the last game, uh, so he's got that backer, the Slash Claw, I think it is, from Mega Man 7. Yeah. Th that was always, that's always been a really good kill move. In this game, that Flame Sword, I think that's from Mega Man like 8 or something. I don't want to speak out of turn, but uh, uh, that move is a lot more potent too. So back in uh, Smash 4, you kind of knew he was fishing for a kill off the side if you if you did that turn to you. Right. Now he can do it face, facing forward or back. Yeah, originally the the forward air was more of like a combo tool, right? Because it had really low knockback. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, but this last stack right now, can maybe in a pretty good life lead. Oh, oh no. Yeah. This. Uh, oh, that was. Oh, that was oh. sick. Read that he used the platform to extend the combo, catching him coming up. He, oh, oh, he's oh. dead. Oh. He took so much damage. He took so much from damage. That. Though, yeah. yeah. It's almost tied up now. Yeah. Yeah, that was all, man. That, that's so stressful too when stuff like that is happening because he could have died, and it, 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 like your, your heart starts beating. You're like, oh man, he was just tossing the Glad he's feeling it. Yo, oh. The bike is, <laughs> the bike is crazy. Oh, oh! what was that? Please? Is that the half charge? He, yo, is that the half charge? <laughs> that was the half charge, I think. But yeah, he just stood at the exact. He, he yeah. like he, he did literally the, waited right at that spot. Yeah, he did the faint. He's like, I'm gonna dash in real quick, make it look like I'm covering the normal standup. Mm -hmm. Dash back to rolling. Boom. That was sick. Let the uh, the old what you call it, the wave. The, the wasp, 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 I guess, is the fart. Yeah, the f I mean, you can just call it a fart. Uh, <laughs> this is Trash Box, the number one ranked uh, online player by like really? 50 billion points. Oh. Oh, like all he does is net play. He's like three times as many points as number that's two. Like, you know, that's actually like, yeah, we're talking about Ohito mm -hmm. and Yunus. That's yep. him with whatever the arcade point yeah, is. Yeah, it's called. Rip. The Rip. Rip. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's no, like, he's like the... 7 million, mm -hmm. and then the next highest is like 4 million. Yeah, yeah. no, it's yeah. ridiculous. So wait, he just gets off work and then like. Yeah, yeah grinds. <laughs> yeah, but Trash Box, of course, you know, he. Grinds online, but he does a lot of uh, offline events now too. Sponsored by mm -hmm. We Are One. That's round one gaming. They have an esports oh, team there. Oh, cool. yeah. um, wow! Yeah. I'm Man, we have someone sponsored by Round One and OGN <laughs> now. How wild is this? What? Wait, who's sponsored by OGN? JDCR. Yeah. No what? Yeah. That's, that's our sick I grew up watching oh, StarCraft on that. I was like, that's wow. the coolest thing. I grew up playing rhythm games in Round One. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, this is a stressful round, though. Yeah, yeah, just desperate okay. jump in there. Yeah. Of course, Nikali, even if he didn't do the Invincible and he had a, a DP fast enough to get him. But again, this is Street Fighter. Still, before top eight, still only first to two. And Machibo now, Machibo. Talked about how he's been on a hot streak. We talked about Bonchan, so Bonchan qualified. Is Machibo going to do it as well? Mm. This is a tournament too, so down in Australia. I remember now. So that was the first tournament where kind of Machibo started getting hot, was down in Australia. Trashbox was down there as well on top eight. I remember. Oh, so Machibo wow. came out on top. Did they play? I think they both made the top eight. I think wow. they played together. Oof. The XTP. Man. Those are the, the, the old school skills Oof. hang there, and that's a shade of meta right there. Wake up, EX command grab. You think I'm going to reversal? Like, yeah, I am, but you know, with a grab, dummy. Yeah, Trashbox has been sitting on that feature too, though. Hasn't had a chance to confirm into it. He did it earlier, not a confirm. Like in the last, like yeah. that, that was just a little like get out of jail for free blocks. Mm -hmm. But the last thing he did in neutral like that. Wow, bet it all in the EXTP. Again, Ooh. you have to, man. You have to be brave. And <laughs> what a confirm. confirm. Yeah, yeah, confirm with the crush, crush counter. counter. Yep. Yeah. There we go. So he's made top eight right there. And again, that's a celebration, you can tell. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, I've never seen him get emotional like yeah. that, really. Usually he's like really reserved. Yeah. That was kind of one of the things, one of those top players that didn't really show himself. So I'm trying uh, to think back to when he won Guilty Gear. I, don't, mm -hmm. I think no. he was like barely even yeah. excited. He well, was just like kind of said it's, it's, and, right? and it's crazy because one of the things is that like we've always known Machibo to be one of the best. I mean, it was like a bunch of like talk about him yep. during the uh, Ixerd when he was arcade days. Like how many people would just like completely avoid him because he was just so dominant, mm -hmm. right? And so when he won, everybody was like, oh yeah, he's the best. He won. Right until we got Omito, who, who was coming around yeah, and, yeah. and started winning everything, and and so, but he tried so hard to be good at this game because he wanted to get mm -hmm. sponsored. He wanted to start traveling for fighting games, and he put all of his effort into it. So I mean, you know, that's that's the culmination of not being a a legacy Street Fighter Five yeah. player or Street Fighter player, and then just turning it into something right yeah. there. That was it. That was it right there. That was his validation. I think Street Fighter Five is a good game too because uh, you know it's not the most complicated, it's an easy game to pick up and like kind of like Sam Show where your skills from other games right. will carry over. There. That's why like you look at the top players. Look. Dude, that was so yeah. cool. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Their team, right? What Kazunoko, Dogra, and Machibo. That was a team unusual. The dominant Guilty Gear team. They're all top players on Street Fighter Five, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In a lot of games. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but of course, especially Street Fighter Five, yeah. right? Yeah. Speaking of that, we got another match out here. Is this Pugera? Remember we saw him win earlier. Yeah, it could be. Against Zeku. There's a few Zekus out right now. There's I know Yang Mian from China came out here. Which one though? 
It's like very, very strong character, but still quite rare. Infectious, okay, yeah. Oh, and it's Fujimura. Yeah. Oh. Infectious just got picked up by Side Games Beast. He just made top eight, actually, at the, uh, the European premiere. Is it fair to say that Fujimura is like the premier Ibuki player? Uh, I, I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think. That's pretty I think clear. So. I was I watched that one mm -hmm. channel. Uh, it's like fighting FGC translator yep. or whatever, and mm -hmm. it was like some you know one. Of, it's like Bone Chan or one of them talking on stream about like, and he was saying like, yeah, like you know, Cien, super duper good, but mm -hmm. like you know, Fuj Fujimura, yeah, yeah. like he's got that extra little something. Like yeah. Fujimura, is kind of the king of the Ibuki world right now. He's got the spice. Like yeah. the, he has the thing that he has like the X factor of just being like, yeah, I hit this random thing and I have the max damage punish for you know or to confirm off it some way somehow. He's always got something up his sleeve. Yeah, I feel like every tournament you win, there's always something new that yeah, people are like, exactly. oh, I didn't know you could do that. Ah, uh, brings it to the table. Yeah, but yeah I think uh, Shen definitely is the character that put Ibuki on the map, and now Fujimura is the one that took it to the next, to level. The next yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is nerfed too, right? So was it la even like two years ago, and then last year, he's been on absolute tear. She's been nerfed twice. He's still quite good. Trying to make top eight winners here at EVO. Who did Infectious beat to get here? Oh, yeah, oh. I'd like to know that. Yeah. I don't know, but he used to play Lara, so he, right? In fact, okay. used to be Europe's like best Lara player, but now Zeku originally thought to be very, very weak, and then you know towards the end of the last season, what was it about? You know what I mean? Like, what what did people figure out? What was the the breakthrough? I think it's more of the mix-ups and stuff, right? The original plan was like, oh, you have to play old Zeku and zone out all the time, but now it's young Zeku doing a lot of work when he gets in there. One of the more technical characters in the game too. There are two stances, right? You have to remember right. like double the amount of moves and specials and everything. Yeah, and depending on like what your matchup is, you might want to play mm -hmm. totally in old, like he basically mm. is now, or totally in, in young. Yep. I see. So yeah, just wanted to kind of take some time to develop. There we go, jumping away. Anti with the Shuriken. He had the right idea, but a bit yeah. too slow. Caught him on the way back still, mm -hmm. though. Stayed in front. In fact, wow. no way, dude. <laughs> had to standing strong, yeah. but... He's mashing right there. He's got V-Trigger, too. So the V-Trigger, too, when he activates, like... Just dash and throw oh. becomes so powerful. No anti-air. Just got a big jump in there. Goes oh, the cross the stream again. <laughs> yeah, and there you know it is. You it's always happened mid-combo. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. this only happened mid-combo. No, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They're breaking the game. They know what they're doing. Fujimura closes out with the, like, the patented Chen mix-up, right? The uh, the fake cross. If he jumps over. Yeah. Releases Kunai while he's still in front. Then mm. There's so many different mm -hmm. games and so many characters that can do that. And I, I can never block it. No yep. matter which game it is. Oh. No, matter, no matter what character. <laughs> yeah. If you have something that starts to jump over mm -hmm. me and then stalls you in the air and hits me at the front, you might as well just do it 100 times in a row. I will never block <laughs> you. My weakness is moves that You play a character that, that does that, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always like that, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, uh, that's I know how I good it is, yeah. so I do it, yeah. Uh, Judah, what were you saying? I want to know what your weakness is. Uh, <laughs> characters that float, they can float in the air, so you, they're falling in, you anti-air, and they float a little bit, so oh, in waves, I, I hate can't. That. Oh. You have to delay your anti-air. I can't do that. Yeah, I get hit by that a lot, too. Venom, Venom 6P is just too alluring, you know? I just yeah. I see I see it coming, I just I just want to press the button right yeah. there. You would not like fighting Peach in melee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she just floats right in front of you and you're like, I just wanna hit you! Come here, like come but down. But you here. can't, and it's a trap every single time. <laughs> Infectious patented uh we were talking about keeping like a poker face on. I think he's probably number one right now. Ah, uh, and doing no, that. No, but the things even when he wins, nothing changes. No expression. <laughs> he's very does not show emotion here while playing, while at the tournament. Wow. We saw Idon a little while ago. I feel like he's the same way. Yeah, the I, same I don't way. Know, he's totally expressionless. I, mean, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen him smile before. It's a this good, is good the really have. cool part about Zeku, right? Is that you can just switch it up on the fly. Ooh, he's yeah. been playing the zoning Zeku, right? Playing old Zeku. And all of a sudden, mm -hmm. he goes into young and starts doing mix-ups. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I think that's just the coolest thing about this character. You can just show like a completely different look. Yeah, just all of yeah. a sudden, on the he, top of the head. you just switch up and you're like, and Fujimura's got to react immediately. And the character, I, I'm assuming, you know, Zeku is a character's balance to where like both of the stances like have their application and right. one's not way better than the other. Yeah, you want to say the old one is more of when you, you're far away, like he zones you away, and then when he goes young, he dashes right in front of you, so. Yeah, he has like chain, yeah. like chain uh, combos and stuff, mm -hmm. the, the young version. Okay. And his back throw does uh, like abnormally high damage, right? So he, he'll dash in there, you're so scared of the throw, you try to tech, and then boom, just, you know, kind of that 50 50 mix of the Street Fighter vibe. Mashing on V-Skill, why not? Oh, what a block. Wow. Yeah, that was a double mix-up, too, right? I, I feel like that mix-up didn't quite work the way he wanted. I think he wanted uh, Infectious to stand up and block more of the Shuriken to push him to the other side. Oh, but baby. he blocked it crouching. That might have been the, the, the way to deal with it, though. Now a fast game, too, right? Confirm yeah, V-Trigger. Yeah. 
Classic stuff. Ends it with the super. Sit on her. And this is, uh, again, all best of three, right? Until, yep. is, until top eight. Is, is, is he awake right now? He looks like he's asleep. He's so in his zone. Oh, is, he, is he breathing? He's, he's, he's not is. even breathing. He's one game away from calling her Evo <laughs> yeah. top eight, right? He's just like, all right. Does he know where go. he is right now? He looks lost. It's a, it's a valuable skill Whoa. to have, though, right? It is. Not it is. letting nerves I'm get to you. I'm making fun of it, but I'm actually jealous. No, playing, I was going to uh, say, I level. straight up, I wish I could do that. I can't do that. Yeah. I wish I could do that in life. It's like a life skill at that yeah. point. But yeah, they've got the close range counter confirmed from uh, Fujimura. In fact, so again, she's seeming to play old Zekka right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely seems like he's tending towards what that. What a win. That was right there. Yeah. Perfect range. He knew that uh, Fujimura was going to press a button here. Yeah, look at him sit in that range again. He's trying to fish with the crouch fierce, but now it's cornered. Oh, mm. nice. Standing late. Yeah, the command dash is not real. It's kind of like we saw Ken earlier, yeah, right? Exactly. Just trying to check if Fujimura's awake, or uh, Infectious is awake. So yes, I am. Don't try that BS on me. Jumps out. He knows. He's been dealing with the V-Trigger mix-ups very well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jumps over nice. again with the cross-up. Now, yeah, not only did he get the jump, he got the side swap. Nice. No, Mario Kart for you. Plus frame after that. Yeah, try to use the sand shirt. <gasps> no! Oh, he went the wrong way! I think he tried to DP yeah, backwards. Yeah, right. He you got think the, he should have waited input. like a hair later? Probably, yeah. That's where a lot of people talk about the cross-cut DPs. Yeah. yeah. You got to watch out. Those Fujimura does have the V-Trigger. He needs one hit and one mix-up, and that's it. Here's the attack. Oh my God. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. Be yeah. versus wow. deal with it. Okay, yeah. I like it. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that that's like the culmination of dealing with that mix up over and over yeah. and over again, right? Fujimura, if he, if it's working, he's gonna press his aggression. But I mean, that time he was actually looking for infections mm -hmm. to do something, and he just, infections made the right read. Does anyone with the Buki? Does anyone run the uh, the other V trigger? No, oh, not bombs? anymore. No. This is, that's outdated. It's a meme, yeah. Okay. It's got cool stuff, but not for tournament. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, also, the like we were saying before, Abuki, she gains V-Trigger through using her V-Skill, right? There's a very strong possibility that you get two Shurikens in a match or yeah. in a round. He did in the last round. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, throw. throw. Yeah, he got critical armor, and he confirmed now. In fact, she's going to top eight. Of course, last year, won by Problem Max from Europe. Oh, yeah. Oh, dash in. From wow. the UK. Again. Roundhouse again, payback, wow. man. The Yomi DP, oh, in fact, oh, cross oh, up block. Man. It's very, we're not gonna wow. get that. What the Throws hell? Throws it out. I wanna say, <laughs> yes. yeah, I'm not. <laughs> barely, barely. He won with the That's what we. Wait. <laughs> yeah, can somebody let him know that. Top eight. He made top he eight, man. Fujimura, yeah. Wait, leave the camera on. Uh, okay, it's a little you side of fall. relief <laughs> right there. A little you side of fall. relief right wow. there. <laughs> Listen, the, he wow. is a ticking. He is a yeah. ticking time bomb. Yeah. He's gonna pop yes, up back at any moment. Room. Follow him until he does. Dude, that was man. That's impressive. He's gonna wait till he gets back to the room. He's like ripping shirt yeah. off. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's tight. That's tight. Abadango versus three. Abadango in winners quail. Yo, so Abadango, like he is one of the hardest working men in the Smash team in Japan, especially like so Smash Four, right? He was um kind of like. The story with him was like that he was super, super good in Japan, especially at the beginning. But like, the time went on, he kind of started slumping. Other Japanese players kind of okay. caught up to him, and like, he was kind of like, I guess, losing relevance. By the end, though, he worked super duper hard. And like, by the end of Smash 4, he was back to being the number one ranked Japanese player. And then, kind of having some difficulties as, as Ultimate came out, you know, he's kind of been underperforming a little bit, okay. or like, you know, per his old standard. Yeah. But he beat Zach Ray, who's considered, you know, arguably the best Japanese player, at least like within Japan, they talk about him as like, like he, you know, runs their tournaments. Right. So he beat Zach right here, which is really, really important. And now, you know, uh, winners, top eight qualifier against Tweak, this is super duper, like, this would be a huge deal for him. Hopadangos, he's cool too, like, he plays like a lot of different characters. He's a yeah, very, nice. like, yeah, very counter pick heavy kind of character. Um, Really? He's a, he's a top tier kind of, well like, it's interesting, like he started off like he was known for his like Pac-Man and like his like, I don't know, Wario I guess in Smash 4 and okay. the Wario wasn't so strong. And I think as time went on, he kind of became one of these guys who's like, you know what, I need to pick a top tier. Like, I, yeah, I need to stop <laughs> like making life so difficult for I myself. Mean, at some point, you got to make a good business decision for yourself, right? right. Yeah, yeah. Stop making your life so difficult. Especially if you're trying to go pro. Like, he's trying, yeah. like, he was one of, right. like, the, and, and as Smash was getting more and more, I guess, like, esports or whatever, like, right. was, uh, outside of Melee, um, he was one of the first guys where he's like, no, I'm really trying to go pro with this Smash 4 thing. Wow. Um, yeah, and, and, on, and every Smash game that we've gone through, it feels like more and more Japanese players have been picking up the Game. Agreed. Yeah.
Yeah, I think about Japan. So, like, in the West, in America, you know, melee, it's melee, melee, melee. The new ones didn't really pick up. Japan was the opposite, right? Yeah. So, they, they really were going with the newer versions of the game and passing on melee. Yeah, I agree. No, it's, it's kind of cool. So, when I lived in Japan 2010, 2011, it was kind of dope because back then it was Brawl, right? And unlike in America, where the, there's a big scene split, melee versus Brawl. There's two right. different communities almost. In Japan, a lot of the Brawl heads were uh, just old school melee players yeah. that were like, I'm gonna, we're going to play the new game too. Um, uh, we are talking about like, you know, uh, QB, who was like, you know, super old school. Like he was actually a Kansai top Potemkin player in Guilty Gear. Uh, and then he ended up being uh, a, you know, top brawl ice climbers. But his roommate was a melee player. I used to go over his place all the time because they would host, you know, like gatherings and then melee and brawl players both would go there. You never saw that in America. In harmony, right? right? Yeah, in no harmony. No gang warfare, players right. getting along. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you can't imagine it. Can't, can't even imagine it. But, I mean, Tweak is like, yeah, like when I think about Tweak like as a player, he just like, I don't know, he's got like just otherworldly like game sense, I guess. I don't yeah. know what it is. He's one of these guys that brings something to the table every tournament. Like he's like either some new tech or just like the way he the way he moves, like the way he like he he'll pick up characters and then immediately just starts like like the the meme is like it's like, yo, Tweak, can you start playing like one top player <laughs> like yo Tweak, can you start playing my character so that I could like learn from how you play my character? <laughs> Because there's something I'm sure I'm not doing that you'll figure out in like right. three days. So he just figures out the good stuff to do right off the bat. Yeah, yeah, but not like not in a not in like a, the, the 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 cheap way. Like in the how do I put it? Like the like, like this the, is what the, the character should be doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. The optimal way. He's one of those. Uh, Life yeah, is good now, up. man. That these kids can just go online, go on Twitter, <laughs> and just copy man. His his yes. Ivysaur. I mean, his, he, he made his name Ivysaur, I, I guess that's for a reason, because <laughs> his Ivysaur has been ridiculous, both last game and this game so far. Yeah, it's definitely, like, I mean, like, you know, if you're playing Pokemon Trainer, you've got to have a good Ivysaur, you're going to spend a lot of time on that character. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kind of the bread and butter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Abadango, man, it's, yeah, it's, Wario, that, that great strength you have with the great equalizer, the, great equalizer, the WAP, like, right. you don't quite have that if you're fighting from behind, because the best you're going to do is even it up. Um, that being said, you know, there's obviously a lot of other ways to take stocks. That's kind of the thing about Ivysaur, too. Like, Ivysaur is a weird character in terms of, like, very solid neutral, but randomly kind of gets these, like, huge haymaker, like, stock takers, where, like, if right. you get, like, a throw at, like, 60-70% range, you could combo into the Vine Whip or the Up Air on a 50-50, and it just kind of... Oh, oh, my God! Oh my God. And yeah. survived and all that because of the Charizard. Go crazy deep off stage, oh, too. Now he switched back to Squirtle for the 0% uh, situation. Exactly, yeah. You see, if you get if you get to grab. Throw, yeah. Absolute madman right here. Yeah, All right, just switching to Ivysaur. I mean, this makes sense, too, because he has such, such high percent. You might want to just try to zone a little bit, just try to get any percentage. Mm-hmm, okay. And that was good. I was able to take that stock kind of without using the waft. He's probably going to want to like, hang on to that a little bit. All right, so now we're back to Squirtle. There's the throw. This is going to be a lot of huh? up airs. No, he doesn't get it. See, he covers the, yeah, but you see, he yeah. covers the air dodge. Right. So even though he knows I'm going to do this up air, even if you get the air dodge out, it doesn't matter. I get another right. grab. Yeah, his up air is so fast. So fast. Dude, yeah. look at that. A quick 64. Yeah, mm -hmm. I bet he's going to look to switch to Ivysaur pretty soon here. Yeah. Oh, we got the grab on that. Still able to get a follow up, too. He might just, I mean, yeah, kind of, kind of, might like, be feeling it. Yeah, maybe he's just feeling it. I don't even. I don't, how does Squirtle kill him? You, uh, you kind of fundamentally get him the corner and smash yeah. that. Yeah, there's a smash. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Wow. The front there you go. That's, I think that's Tweak and Top 8. Yeah, yeah Tweak Top 8 winners. And it's like, I think that's that the third sense. Japanese player we saw lose, right? They just can't break into the Top yeah. 8 here at Evo. Except for uh, Rhino. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. one made it. I believe that the names are yeah, switched in yeah, this yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah Yangman is a Zeku player. Yeah, and the Green Can. Yeah, Green, the green can. can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were mentioning Yangman a second ago. Yeah, he, uh, you know, from China, he's been traveling yeah. out to a lot of the Asia events on uh, the Asia part of the Capcom Pro Tour. And he's one of, I would say he's probably the strongest Zeku in our region. I know okay. the U.S. Oh. has some good players as well, Europe as well. And again, doing Mochi's work. gone to the can. Yeah, off the bat. I don't I don't understand. I don't get it. Remember we saw he ended up switching to Colleen like last time, right? So that's the character he trusts in. Why are you starting with Ken? Huh. He's gotta know something, right? Yeah. Yeah, I get you know. Maybe he just wants to gamble, right? He's in Vegas, he's feeling lucky, he wants to try <laughs> something. Check his opponent, see if he knows how he's running in. Oh great, no Mochi out of range. Double shimmy didn't bite. If he did bite, though, right? That's the classic emoji, the crouch medium kick confirmed. The thing every Karen player is making look easy now. It's a skill he had to spend like 10 plus years mastering at third strike. <laughs> I can't do it. 
Yeah, young man recognizing Mochi doesn't want to come in, so he's like, you know, yeah. I'll just go old, I'll keep my distance, try and chip you down a little bit. Anti-air, ready. Yeah, this is such a key point because they both have CA yeah. as well. He can chip. Young man can chip if he wants. Oh, Ooh. doesn't even need it. Good reaction. Yeah, that's Ken's kind of Hail Mary move. Right, season one, that was a terror. The EX Air Tots have been nerfed so much, you don't see it too much. Ken's EX Air Tots yeah. has been a terror in multiple games. Yeah. <laughs> Think about Third Strike. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Actually goes past the DP that time. Yeah, it's one of the uses of it. Like, the EX Tots is very, very fast. So even though uh, Young Man reacted, just wasn't in time. Very close to stun. But it reacts pretty well. Yeah, Momochi tried to chase him down, like you said, to, to finish off that stun, but Yangman was ready. Slash, they try to go over something after that, but Momochi ready with the challenge with the crouch play. They're just fighting for this yeah. corner, they keep switching sides. <laughs> yeah, so Ken is a weak character, but that is something that he has is his back throw. The, the range it goes is really yeah, good. Right. It's another classic kind of attribute that Ken has yeah. always had. The death wheel, or whatever it's called, the yeah. hell's wheel. I saw, you know, they, you know how Smash, they gave that bad throw to Pikachu. I saw some dude and he saw, because now Ken's in Smash, and he said, oh, Ken, Ken, Ken when he does his back throw, he does the Pikachu back throw. Yeah. I got, oh, uh, no. I got <laughs> so upset. He hit him with the Mamma Mia. I got so yeah. upset. Yeah. I'm hit him with the Mamma Mia. Yeah. Got him with the Mamma Mia. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Got it confirmed coming up from Emoji. Got Yang Man corner, but a lot of just swing his way out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Max damage punish. Yeah, he's going for that new Jeez. one, season four, and then the slide. Crush wow. count is available. Yeah, he wanted Mochi to block so he could do this. There we go. Cheers. Wow. Game one. So, yeah, so is Mochi going to switch again? Is he just giving away every game? Yeah, one I don't, I don't know. He's, he's got to make a choice because, right, it, this is uh, losers now. So if he loses, he's not making top eight this year. Yeah. This dude's got to put his tournament life on the line. That dude in the back cheering. Waving his arm up because he's like, Mom, I'm on camera. Look at me. <laughs> oh, that looked like some tea or something. Uh, Young man looks like Hook and God a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. I know, no. I know what you're going for. No. Hook and God <laughs> from China. <laughs> no, no he doesn't. I can see it. <laughs> I'm with you. Anyway, Ellis and Mochi stuck with Ken. <laughs> yeah, wow, right? Yeah, he did stick. Crush counter, okay. Right, off to a good start. Oh. Had the shimmy do. Oh my god, Ken Baines are crying everywhere yeah. right now. I can't believe that whip. Yeah, he that, like barely stepped back. That's like and his the best throw, string the throw too. Was extended, yeah. He still didn't get it. That is his best string too, right? Do we know like like you know with Ryu and Ken, like why are they like why why were they nerfed so much? Uh so season one Ryu was wild. Like he needed to be nerfed, he was very, very good. Ken yes. didn't though. Ken ah. was like an online terror. But it wasn't that great, but he got hit over and over and over again. Huh. He just kind of caught, caught the unlucky yeah. front of the... Yeah, actually, the, the big reason why those characters that in Season 1 were weak, aside from character changes, is that the game switched to kind of a V-Trigger game now. Because mm. all the DLC characters are very, very, very powerful DLC or uh, V-Triggers v there. So Ryu, you know, Ken, Chun-Li, those don't really do much. They don't really affect the, uh, the way right. the game is. Oh, yeah, Momochi I mean, clutched that one out with the DP. That was looking kind of bad there. It looked like uh, Yangman was going to run it back. Missing right there. He's got some meter to work with too. I mean, you're seeing that it, like, he's using a lot of her like EX di uh, air dive kick, right? Sorry, um, air EX toss. Yeah, yeah, to it get it in works there. like a dive kick. Yeah, it yeah. basically is. Here we go again, just grabbing away. That move does it only one hit, but it does a chunk of chip. Look at that, a chunk yeah. of chip damage Ooh. each time. It reminds me of uh, Yuzu, actually. The right? slash. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah, you're yeah. just like whittling away, trying to like get them to move. Slash. Yeah, a lot of times like that. After that. That Grammy does from that range. Like, there's no mix-up at all, right? Nothing's gonna come from that. Just making you block, just getting more more chip. But moment you activate the trigger. One shimmy's got critical okay. out available. One shimmy's all it takes. That's why Yangman's letting him throw. Ooh, wow. the classic. Yeah, we saw that a lot in uh, Taiwan. Using the the V trigger to just dash under like an anime game, catch him on landing. There's nothing they can do about it. <laughs> Both plays with CA. This is match point. This is top eight point for Yang. I think this is a big surprise, right? So China always a strong region. They had uh, Xiao. Oh, oh no! Baited. Huge punish. But yeah, Xiao Hai was always like a regular, but he kind of fell off a little bit. China's been missing, stun. right? QQ stepped up, and now Yang Mian. Yeah. Just looking for stun. Yeah. One more instant overhead. No. Oh, there we go. Mochi, Mochi just matching out. He's like, I'm not going out like this. Yeah. How? How do you have the guts to do yeah. that, right? We're I like, could never. That, yeah. I guess that's why I'm, I'm sitting here, not there. I could never do <laughs> and that. And there we go. He's going to go out like that yeah. instead. God, and you're sitting there doing finishing the shuriken. You just got to sit there and think yeah. about how you're not making top eight. That yeah. sucks. 
He woke one, up one with too many. buttons. Then he, there's QQ from China. Hey. They're supporting each other. There we go. He made it. Yeah. So that's great because like Japan sent out an army, right? I right. think like overall it's like 400 Japanese players are out here. Is uh, it really? Yeah. Across all your Street yeah. Fighter? No, no, no. All across all games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like 430-ish. But Korea, not so. Or sorry, China, not so much. Yeah. Right. The uh, QQ and uh, Yang Mian. And I forget the other one, like ZJ, but very, very small group traveling out there. So that means a lot to them. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But anyway, I think we are done here for day two of the jump off. There's still matches going, right, if you want to check the other streams. But I think we jump the jump off the whole weekend. I yeah, think that was it. I think, so. I think we jumped yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> We're about to jump off. Yeah. That was good. We got James Chen on the desk here, right? <laughs> That's good. I like it, man. Jump off is really fun to do. Yeah. yeah. You get to see all sorts of different games. Yeah. So. It's great. I got the content units. That was dope. Oh, yeah. yeah. When do I get to come to you? That's yeah, you're right. You're right. You That's get a chance cool. to do a little bit yeah, of everything and see everything. a little yeah. bit of everything. So hopefully they keep the tradition up. I know we've yet to do it in EVO Japan. Oh, that would be yeah, so cool. I that guess would be tight. You need to fly out more commentators and get them out there to EVO Japan here. I'm sure we can do the job. But uh, once again, I'm Juna. Tof. Ryan Hunter. Sammy Fish. Thank you guys for joining us. And uh, go check out the other streams. Go.